What if I tell you that solar panels drop in efficiency because of the heat 40%? Have you saw this during winter time and I was producing more electricity in winter time than in summertime in Vegas? Almost 12 o'clock and these panels are sitting in the sun, uh, not a cloud in the sky today and they are running 120, 130 degrees. We're gonna cool them off and I'll show you how much efficiency is going to change just by keeping them cool. I was super confused because I thought in summertime I'm gonna make more electricity and not less, but actually I was making less because these solar panels, even though they're rated 175, they're barely putting 100 watts out there. I'm dropping 40% efficiency because of the heat. It's as simple as that. And I'll show you if I cool them off, it will go back up instantly. It's just not feasible because you have to cool them off with something, in my case, water. I don't think that they reached their maximum temperature, but they're 116 degrees, 116, 121, 118, 117. So they're not the hottest they could get, but they're really, really close. So this is the app we're gonna look at. Um, right now it's producing 333 watts. I have 600 watts worth of solar panels, so why am I doing half? Let's cool them off. A quick spray with water. It takes a while to take the heat off of them, you'll see, as soon as we cool them off. And also we have to cool them off from underneath. There's a lot of heat over there. Here on the side of the screen you should be able to see that the wattage is increasing. Now I know some people are freaking out, why would I spray them with water, but they are water... Um, they're supposed to stay in bad weather outside, so they were supposed to be able to handle this kind of stuff. And remember, they don't cool off instantly, I'm just using a little mist over here. So it takes time to lower the temperature off of them. It doesn't lower uh, instantly, unless you submerge them into water. So it takes a while for the water to evaporate and take that heat off. And you will see they, they gain efficiency. The more you cool them, the more gain efficiency. And how I discovered this is by cleaning them. I was like, why am I cleaning them? They're a lot more efficient when I clean them. And then I realized that there was the reason. But in winter time, when it's cooler outside, they work a lot better. And you could feel the, 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 the hot water dripping off them. Like I could feel it hot on my hands. This water is just so, so warm. It's so warm because it's, uh, the panels are just so freaking hot. So the heat is coming off slowly. As you can see on the side of the screen, this is 394 already. And uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna go up and more and more and more. So what's the temperature? 90 degrees, 92 degrees, 96 degrees. They're not even that much cooler. It's 120 degrees outside, by the way, here in Vegas. So I'm surprised that they're not hotter than they showed up. 88. At 82, they're already doing 413 watts. So right now, at 82, they're doing already 413 watts. So right now, we are at 418. Um, I have the solar panels just cooling off in the sun uh, through evaporation. So they're 78. 82 this one, 81, 85. So I cannot bring them cooler than this, but imagine if you have them in the 40s and 50s. Um, in the winter time, they made a huge difference. So I cannot bring them lower than 85, 86 with just water. And already the efficiency increased 25%. And still gonna go up. At 422, it's still gonna go up. We had a little bit of a sink over there. Um, that was from one of my Grita inverters. But um, right now you're gonna see they're gonna still keep going up and I've achieved 500 watts uh, on panels that were supposed to be 550 just by cooling them off. And in winter time I got 600 out of 550 because they were just so nice and cool. The problem today, we're stuck at 422 is because it's a miserably hot day. So even the evaporation on the solar panels just cannot bring them under 80 degrees and uh, that is a huge problem. So um, just that little cooling that we brought them from uh, 400 and from 120 degrees or 130 degrees, whatever they were in the beginning to, to 80, made a huge difference. And uh, we're easily pushing 422 right now watts instead of uh, what we had initially, 333. So that's just... Uh, um, a 20, 20, 24, 20 to 25% increase and I cannot keep them cooler than this. Imagine if I could make them 
sub zero, it will be a huge difference, but it's too hot in Vegas. And uh, that's the proof that uh, cooling them off does work. Thanks for watching.